Most likely you have seen this image and probably you liked it. Well, stay with stripping architecture and maybe we can at least give you mixed feelings about it. Colorful city, Lego looking town, artistic like cute houses, even rainbow settlement are just some of the descriptions we see about comfort city in Kyiv. While it looks like plenty of kids with colorful pencils just made this design, stripping architecture two years ago was personally in Kyiv on site to visit this place and we saw some other reality. Stay tuned and you will see it as well. This is an aerial footage of Kyiv. On the west side of the river Dnieper, we see the historical core of the city, where the red marker shows the famous Independence Square, and on the east side of the river, we see the so-called Comfort Town. Like you can see on these images, the center and the downtown of Kyiv has multi-layered and contentful urban fabric that is beyond amazing. Then once you go further from the urban core of Kyiv, like we did over here, for example, on the other side of the river Dnieper, then you start seeing another urban fabric that reminds, of course, of the Soviet past of Ukraine and Kyiv. This area actually leaves the real people from Kyiv, the running engine of Kyiv. And these are people who are the average class in Kyiv. Inside, it was super comfortable. Great people with plenty of hospitability, little markets, shops, informal creation of places, and then you run on this. And yes! Behind the river, as a first and foremost border, we stumbled upon a long strip of old storage places and empty garages, which they were probably in a function of a secondary boundary bordering the residential area on the west. Then, as a third protective layer, we recognized the active railway line, which was reinforced with additional buffer zone of brownfield or industrial land or I don't know what else. Then, Surrounded by large boulevard and some deforested place on the frontiers, we get to see the beautiful and colorful comfort town, which of course it had black and tall nice gates. And yeah, now I want to exaggerate, the fence was probably electrified. And then you can imagine what we saw there. Gated community being gated community in its finest. We saw plenty of gates, many guards, who were watching us and they really were following us quite seriously and then we saw the kids inside who were playing football they were actually looking in a strange way at us we saw many nice cars inside they had plenty of greenery and well paved streets what we could see from the distance was that they have their own school they have their own pizza stores their own market place there it's really like one enclosed introvert gated community unit that is in the middle of all these regular citizens of Kyiv. So to quickly wrap this up, our final point here is that fine, maybe that's a gated community, we're against it, you know that, but the thing is that it's so weird and disgusting when you see it on the social media everywhere, how people are just saying that it's, how, it's so cute, it's so nice, it's so beautiful, I would love to go there, I would love to live there, it's colorful, probably for kids is great and all that in reality is bullshit. And the best way to strip this architecture is probably through this sketch, where if in the past the mafia, the elite people, the corrupted structures were wearing black mantle and black clothes, they were mysterious and hidden, now it looks like those people start wearing colorful clothes. They used to be mysterious and hidden, now they're attractive. Well, thank you very much that you saw this show. Probably you got the message. And next time, once you see this city, please know that before you share any comment or like, please at least know and be aware what it is. Stay tuned, subscribe, follow us at The Strip Architects, and you know, Stripping Architecture, the place where you learn about the city in broken English. Till the next episode. Bye.